You know how you start to do the most random things when you're bored out of your mind? A year ago, boredom found me trying to access my old Yahoo email and somehow getting in. I was hit with a wave of nostalgia upon seeing the updates and notifications of old games like Neopets, Maple Story, and Club Penguin. As I scrolled down, I noticed that there were a bunch of emails in the spam inbox. Curious, I clicked on it and discovered that they were sent by my brother Jack 19 years ago when he went to the Arctic for a research job. Date, 4th of July, 2004. Hey Squirt, surprise surprise, it's your big bro here. I hope you're reading this on the email I made you and give me a reply. I bet you don't know how to though. Anyway, we might get a kick out of this years later. So just be in my diary for a while, won't you? How you been? I know it's only a few days since I left, but I miss you guys. The Arctic freezing, and the people are cold too. Pun intended. Like I met this burly dude called Kafka who totally ignored me when I made a joke about his name. You know Kafka is my favorite author, right? On the bright side, there's a seal colony close to the base. Blubbery as they are, they're cute as heck. I wonder if they'll let me bring you one back as a souvenir. Peace. The best big bro ever, Jack. Date, 9th of July, 2004. Yo, five days in the job, baby. You mom and dad doing okay? I wasn't getting much work at first, but the guys have entrusted me with a lot more stuff to do. Mostly lab work, but that's fine. Work is better than nothing at all. The Arctic is majestic and all, but there's barely anything to do outside of work. Pretty sure I walked 10 laps around the research base at one point because I was so bored. The internet's bad too and only the email software works. The people here are literal zombies. It's sunny the whole day but they act like the joy has been sucked out of them. Maybe the cold's gone into their hands. Anyway, I'm sure that will change when I make the biggest arctic breakthrough. They'll be sharing in no time. Your brother's a genius after all. Cheers. Genius Jack. Date, 14th of July, 2004. Hey bro, how's the summer holidays? Did you go anywhere fun? I'm finally allowed to go on outside expeditions. Catching seals and tagging them mostly. That's fun. There's some... Gotta censor this or I'll be in trouble with mom. Weird though. Some dude came to the base and the people are happy now for some reason. They called him Reverend. He dresses like a priest even if it's cold as heck. He seems like a nice dude, but it's weird that he showed up out of nowhere. I asked around about who he was and they just told me that it was a former researcher who found the truth. As for what the truth is, I got zero clue. Guess I'll play detective for a while. Catch you later, alligator. Sherlock Yak. Date. 16th of July, 2004. Dear little bro. How are you? Got any new crushes? I got a crush. Literally. A shovel seal bit me and my arm was crushed. Just kidding. I got a wound, but it's all bandaged up now. One of the seals we were tagging wasn't fully sedated, so I got hurt. I'm healing up in my room now. By the way, Reverend held a prayer session when my arm was bit. I didn't understand because it was in a language I never heard before. Or maybe I was just doped up on drugs. But all the researchers were crying. I was kind of creeped out. For some reason. Stay safe. Jack. Date. 19th of July, 2004. Hey kiddo. You alright? I'm typing this with one hand. My arm's not doing too well. The color's all off and it hurts. I'm worried it might have to get cut off or something. Kafka's been nursing me, but he keeps chanting something under his breath. Reverend comes by and they whisper to each other. I keep hearing a word that sounded like kafauti or something. I don't know the language and I don't know what it means. I asked Kafka what it meant. The one under the ice was all he said before leaving the room. Weird, right? Anyway. Your bro strong. One arm or two arms, I'm gonna wrestle you to the ground when I'm back. Love you. Jack.
Date, 21st of July, 2004. No more cold. Good night. The email dating 21st of July 2004 was the last one. Jack came back home in August, safe and sound. What I read never left my mind until I saw Jack again at a family gathering today. He was wearing a t-shirt, arms exposed, not a hint of a scar on either of them. Is your arm all right? I asked as we drank beer together on the porch. He slowly turned his head towards me, lips stretching into a tight smile. At that moment, everything about his face was just wrong to me. Why wouldn't it be? I looked into his eyes. Deep, vacant voids of nothing. This was not my brother. I forced a chuckle. It's really sunny today. Aren't you worried about sunburn? You used to get that a lot. His expression less than silent for a moment, eyes boring into mine as if probing for something. I didn't realize that I was holding my breath until his features snapped back into a cold smile. I miss you, little brother.